Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. BB&T Field in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. We give you a live look in the final moments before kickoff. Warm-ups just concluding. Everybody make sure those hammies are nice and loose as we get set to tee it up. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football Pregame Show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Clemson lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. tailback makes it out to about the 30 the offensive lineman played that one perfectly giving the tailback plenty of space to work with and he took advantage of it and they make the stop at the 27 yard line he knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump once he got there he wasn't about to let him slip away either. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. a quick throw and that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure especially on third down pitch out got the corner tackle right around the 42 yard line a good tackling safety is key for any defense and if they can diagnose a play like this guy can he can be a real menace. It's second and 11. Ball on the 42. They'll bring him down around the 38-yard line. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. That's a loss of about three. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. White awaits the snap. They'll 
That'll bring him down at the 33. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 33. The Tigers linebacker came out of the game earlier with an injury, and he is so key calling the plays in that front seven defensively. They need him back out there. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. That brings us third and 10. to the receiver incomplete he tried to hit his receiver in stride but overthrew it a little too much that'll come in time just repetition throwing that same pass over and over and he'll be fine coleman is waiting for the snap tackle made at the 33 yard line They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Makes it to the 41. That makes it second and two. And he's stopped behind the line. So five yards on the play. Third down. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. Let's give this quarterback a lot of credit. He recognized the man coverage. And guys, I'm going to tell you something. He probably knew he was going to go to the post before the ball was even snapped. Well done. Runs outside for a nice game. it right side for a good game. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. Hand off to the right. Nice gain as he works the right side. Strike complete. Brought down at the eighth. Shaw on the run. He tackles him for a loss. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That brings him second and goal. From the 10 yard line, second down. Here's an opening. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes us a Touchdown, Demon Deacons. made that one look pretty simple. Well, this quarterback isn't your average player. He runs the option very well and gives this defense fits. 
He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice 10 play, 67 yard drive, and they put up seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. So our score, 7 0. Wake Forest is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And down he goes to the 24 yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. Harris on the tackle with the 29-yard line. That'll make it third and five. And he can't get away from the pressure. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. 7-0, wait for it. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Coleman is the punter. Sean fields it at the 41. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Wake Forest is up a score. Takes it right. He can't get back to the line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. The defender snuck right through the blocks and just drilled the ball carrier. That's a standout play. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 41. Here he goes. And he's taken down around the 41-yard line. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. He makes it to the 38-yard line. That makes it second and six. rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down now and they need to get it down to the 31. He scrambled. He gets hit out of bounds around the 27 yard line. Forest is up seven. Inside the ten. Tackle made at the six yard line. They go to the back and he 
hit immediately in the backfield. That is a loss of one yard as well. That brings in second and goal. They're at the seven. Second down. Touchdown, Deacons. Great play by the halfback there to find his way into the end zone. Again, the offense goes with the option. The defender can only pick one player, and this time, again, pick the wrong guy. And he hits the PAT. So a nine-play, 57-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 14-0. White has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Johnson fields it at the one. And he's taken down at the 31. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Release, tight end, incomplete. These receivers need to be ready because he's capable of really launching some passes. That one was just out of reach. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 31. Zips it to the tight end. And down he goes at the 36. Robertson's with the tackle at the 36-yard line. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He's taken down at the 43. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Loss of a yard. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Second and 12 coming up here. All on the 42-yard line. Spencer takes the give. And they'll get him in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. That'll make it third and 13. Throws in a hurry. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From the 42-yard line, first down. Zips it to the back. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. And he's tackled right away. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Looks to him again, complete, and 
that sets them up for the first and goal. Wake Forest is going to have to use their second time out of the half. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And he just gets rid of it. Here's the eighth play of the series. Slides down to the ground. That makes us dirty Finds a man. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. A nice nine play, 55 yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. The score now, 21-0. Wake Forest is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 29. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Ground incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29 yard line. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Gets it out quickly. Tackle at about the 41. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Plenty of time in the pocket. And he's sacked. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. And two, X, Quick shot to the tight end. He can't pull it in. Right around the 44-yard line. That brings us fourth and seven. Easy, easy. Flair, flair. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. It's a short kick. 21-yard punt. Wake Forest put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability and just a lot of just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Slings it. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. Demon Deacons on this using their third and last timeout. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Wants to go long and does. And this one's broken up. We've reached halftime, and there's an upset on the horizon. 21 to nothing, Demon Deacons.
We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick, you know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Johnson fields at the goal line. Tackle made at the 30. Wake Forest is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. He has some room. And they make the stop at the 40. That's a game of 10 on the weather. First down. Larry, Larry. Back 22, back 22. Oh. 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 Thomas was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Down at the 47. Call it a gain of 13 yards. First down. Back 22, back 22. Come on. Shift, shift. Pressure coming. Makes the catch and look out. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 11. Why can't they stop that play, Kirk? I don't know. It's not like they haven't seen it before. They've run that play twice in a row, and that time it worked to perfection. Brought down right around the eight-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Run there. Call it a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, and it ain't over yet. Pitch it as the quarterback's able to run it in. I'll tell you what, when you're a quarterback and the goal line is right there, it's pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. And he tacks on the extra point. Coleman gets set to kick this one away. From his own goal line, he's to the 20, and down he goes at the 21-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Quick toss. 
Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Gives it off. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That brings him second and five. That's a great tackle at the 46. Gets out to around the 45. That'll make it second and inches. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Quick throw to the tight end, and they push him out at the 29-yard line. Breaks one and scores. Oh, my, what a run that was. Oh, I tell you what, this kid is incredible. He's got the moves, the speed, the power. He's the total package. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. They'll bring him down at the 26. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws this one out to the left. Oh, great catch. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 36-yard line. That was a nice catch. He went up leaving his body susceptible to the hit, but he came down with it and got a first down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. First down. Let's go, defense. Our time. Our time. Hey, watch that. Watch that. Check Mike 74. Go four. Green 15. And he's taken down at the 22 yard line. Second down and 12. Ball on the 22. They'll go ground. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll bring up third and eight. It out. He's met immediately.
It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. The Tigers running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. And they tack on three points. Clemson gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. The Tigers have simply rocked the college football world with an astounding effort in this one. This is one of the biggest upsets I think we've seen all year. You know what's great? They didn't worry about any of the outside distraction. They just kind of locked into themselves and their coaches getting ready for this football game, and it's really paid off for them. Goes. It's the 33. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of four. On the that makes it second and six. Complete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 37. Flips it, middle to the running back. He's taken down right around the 48-yard line. the halfback gets to around the 42 and he's tackled around the 41 yard line that makes it second and ten That was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 24-yard line. Can you believe it? We head to the fourth quarter in what has been a stunning game. Demon Deacons on this with a huge lead. Well, folks, we head into the fourth quarter, and this one is a blowout. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. Here they come. He goes out of bounds at the 34. Call the game at 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Caught 
Open field. Tackle made at the 44. Robertson's in the tackle at the 44-yard line. First down. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run it. And he hits him hard at the 34-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. A little toss across the middle. Tackle right around the 38-yard line. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Shaw is back deep to return. Shaw takes it to 25. Wake Forest proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Wake Forest up by a bunch. Knocked out of bounds at the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled right away. a hand up but brought down before he could go anywhere that is a loss of two yards that'll bring up second and 12. so it's second and 12. ball on the 47 yard line got an opening he gets to about the 34 yard line So it's second and 13. Ball on the 37. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. A little over a minute in the game. fourth quarter, but it's a blowout and has been for most of the game. I think it's time for everybody to go home. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. that 
one in. He's tackled at the 16-yard line. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. Wake Forest, 35. Clemson, 10. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.